Hi, I'm Amy, and this is your sewing room solution. How many times have you gone to a big box store with a bobbin in your hand looking for extras and they draw a total blank on their face? You want to know why? This is why. Because all of these bobbins to all of these manufacturers are just crazy amounts of information. That's why you want to come and see us because we know what bobbin fits your machine and we stock what bobbin fits your machine because some sewing machines are very bobbin specific. Some use a generic brand that fits some machines. Some are very brand specific, some are size specific, some are thickness specific, some wind certain way. So it's very imperative that you get the right bobbin for your machine. And you're going to say, well, how do I know that? The easiest way is to bring one in with you, an original that came with your machine, not ones that you've bought and you're not sure if they fit or not. And always bring your book if you don't have a bobbin with you. We can surely tell by that. Now the bobbins that we're going to talk about, the original old school machines, came with metal bobbins that are pretty much indestructible. Now the metal bobbins are pretty much um, machine specific. You can see this one's a little bit uh, concave at the top, has a little bit of shape to it, and it's pretty thin. So you're going to know it's going to be a specific size because your bobbin basket or your bobbin case, whatever it may be. Now when I say that, let's just say that a bobbin case is a round um, container that the bobbin goes into. A bobbin basket lays flat on the top of your machine that your bobbin drops into. That's also something we need to know so we know what bobbin to even start with. Now plastic bobbins also come in different shapes and different sizes. This one's concave on both sides. This one's perfectly round, is a little thicker, a little thinner. Some are 3 eighths of an inch, some are 5 eighths of an inch, some are half inch. Oy, just enough to make you crazy. This bobbin is pre-wound and it's pre-wound with a 60 weight real fine uh, polyester thread on here for machine embroiderers. Um, I'm a machine embroiderer and I love these bobbins and they're totally disposable when I'm done. And you're going to say, gee whiz Amy, what a waste. It's not a waste. It's really, you get twice as much thread on here than you could ever do by winding them on your own. So it's really economical. So don't poo-poo it till you try it. Now, the other thing about nylon bobbins, or plastic bobbins, whatever you want to call them, is they do take some wear and tear. The biggest thing you want to be careful with is when you wind your bobbins. Now, some people, when they wind bobbins, put them on their bobbin spindle, top their machine, and they just go full blast as fast as they can go. They know it's illegal to speed on their on their roads, but they did not don't know it's illegal to speed with their sewing machine. It's the same thing. You've got to go nice, medium speed limit. If you go too fast, what happens? There's too much tension on the thread. The thread swells like this. The bobbin swells and then you have a hard time getting it off the post. You don't think to yourself, boy, I'm having a hard time getting it off the post, but you pull it anyway and stick it in your machine. But what happens is the plastic swells and as it fits into the bobbin basket, it's too thick now. And now it changes up the tension because when you go to pull the thread, the thread's really hard to pull. And you don't think to yourself, wow, that thread's really hard to pull. You pick up the phone and you're all freaked out because now the stitch quality is really bad. That's because the bobbin is now swollen. Now you can take the thread off. You can wind it to another from this bobbin to another bobbin if you want to save the thread. But this bobbin is now garbage. Do not use it again. It's now ruined. It's never going to shrink back to where its normal size is. Okay? The next thing that ruins bobbins is if you have your bobbin in your bobbin basket and you have a major catastrophe needle break. The needle breaks into three pieces. You've got to take the bobbin basket out. You're looking for all those pieces. A needle, tip of a needle, can come down and take a chunk off the edge of your bobbin. You don't recognize it, you don't know it, and the next time you've got to put your bobbin in, every time you start to sew, it just breaks and breaks and chunks and makes this noise. You're thinking, what's going on? You take your bobbin, you feel it, and you feel all these rough spots along the edges. Holy cow, guess what? Yes, you're going to take your emery board and you're going to file it down, and you're going to file it down, but what happens is now the bobbin's misshapen. You may get away with a little bit if there's just a little tiny nub on there, but what hap you just cannot deal with it if it's misshapen. If it's really broken or cracked or has a rough spot, guess what? 
Got to get rid of it. The rule of the thumb is you have to purchase new bobbins every once in a while. They do have a shelf life. After so many wines and after so many years, they get brittle, they get weak, and they get fat. And I know that sounds familiar, but you just have to dispose of them. So what you have to do is feel them, fill them, put them in, pull your tension. Does it feel normal? Is it spinning off nice and smooth? Give them a little test. Now, if you buy one of those little side winders that they sell, so you can wind your bobbin separately from your machine, be very careful because they only wind one direction. But maybe your sewing machine, when it winds bobbins, winds things backwards. Maybe it winds them opposite directions. That's something else you need to uh, think about before you start winding bobbins. I had a customer who wound hundreds of bobbins. We couldn't figure out what was going on. She bought them in and it dawned on me what happened. They were all wound backwards. I never even thought of that myself. So that's something you need to be concerned about. So pre-wound bobbins are great. You can buy them for quilting. You can buy them for sewing. And please buy them for embroidery. It's awesome. Them. You're going to wind them slow. You're going to wind them properly from the top of the machine or the sp spin spindle that the manufacturer recommends. You can wind them from a separate thread stand from the side of your machine. Whatever your sewing machine recommends, you're, that's the way I want you to wind your bobbins. I can't tell you how important it is for the proper tension and the proper stitch. So, as minor as the size is compared to the size of the sewing machine, it's probably one of the most important things you can do for the best stitch quality. This is your sewing room solution.